Rebecca's world. I arrive at my family's large, sprawling hacienda in the North Valley and pull into the driveway. I let myself in with my key and find my mother, my mother, sitting at the large oak kitchen table. There is an open can of beer in front of her. I look around for my father, the only one I've ever known to drink beer. My mother notices and makes a bitterly amused face, taking one long gulp before telling me, and Patron, he's not here. He's at the office. I hate it when she calls my father the boss, but she's always done it and probably always will. Mom? I take a seat across from her and look at her worriedly. What's going on? It's his secretary, she says. The one with the big chichis. And the one who has shirts down to ear. Janelle? I ask. Esa misma, spits my mother, tears welling in her eyes. I get a cold, sick feeling in anticipation of what I'm about to hear. Your father, she says, unable to meet my eyes anymore. He's been... He's been carrying on with her for a number of years. What? I feel the bottom drop out of my life in this moment. My father. He's been the rock in my life. I've known he wasn't perfect. I mean, he's sexist, he's racist, but I never thought he could betray my mother. And now, she says, all her kids are his. I feel all the blood drain out of my face. I am dizzy and grip the table to steady myself. It is worse than I thought. Cheating is one thing, but having a whole second secret family, this sort of thing doesn't happen to people like us. Are you sure? I ask. Maybe Janelle's just trying to get money, framing him. I knew he was messing around on me for years, she tells me. That Janelle, she's probably telling the truth. Some of her kids look just like your dad. I always thought so. One of them, her voice trails off, and she gets a cold, frighteningly distant look in her eyes. One of them looks like you. She's your same age, y todo. I knew my father was domineering.